96th Academy Awards presenter Jodie Foster started crying as she heard Jamie Lee Curtis' poignant tribute. Foster was presenting Best Supporting Actress on Sunday. As Curtis began his performance, the 61-year-old star of Silence of the Lambs, who was nominated for her part in the biographical sports drama Nyad, was spotted seated among the crowd. During the ceremony, the 65-year-old Oscar winner was accompanied by Regina King, Lupita Nyong'o, Rita Moreno, and Mary Steenburgen. Introducing Foster as the first contender in the category, Curtis said, I am thrilled to be back on this stage to present this year's Best Supporting Actress Oscar. She referred to Foster as her bestie. She smiled and turned to face her close friend. And I am beyond proud to be able to talk about one of my besties, she exclaimed. Therefore, Jodie Foster plays Bonnie Stoll, Diana Nyad's tough best friend, motivator, and serious a asterisk asterisk kicker in Nyad. She brings physical energy, along with profound concern and caring. And speaking from personal experience, all of those qualities are really about Jody as well, Jamie continued. Foster grinned and looked up at the stage as the Halloween actress delivered her speech, and her eyes started to sparkle. There is no one you would rather have your back than the multi-talented Jodie Foster, Curtis said. Even though he was still crying, the taxi driver blew Jamie a kiss as the crowd erupted in cheers. Divine Joy Randolph, who won the award for her performance in The Holdovers, America Ferreira, Emily Blunt, and Danielle Brooks were among the other candidates for Best Supporting Actress. Despite never having starred in a production together, Jodie and Jamie have remained friends over the years. The two did, however, make notable appearances in several versions of the film Freaky Friday. While Foster collaborated with Barbara Harris in 1977, Curtis acted in the picture with Lindsay Lohan in 2003. Additionally, Jody hurried to the scene of Curtis' 2013 vehicle accident in Venice Beach, California, to support her friend. In an interview on the Today Show earlier this year in January, Jamie talked candidly about her friendship with Jody. She is one of my best friends, just so you know. She's with her spouse, my spouse, and our other friend, we refer to them as besties. We are both involved in a text chain. And she earned a Golden Globe at the COVID-19 Golden Globes two years ago, which I presented. When I opened it, I exclaimed, oh, my bestie. So I know Jody, the celebrity went on. Notably, the actress from Panic Room made an appearance on Today the next day, where she spoke kindly of her close friend. She's my closest friend. There is a group here. We're a group of six people, and we work together on everything, she clarified. A-list celebrities attended the 2024 Oscars, Hollywood's Biggest Night, which took place on Sunday at the Dolby Theater. Jodie looked stunning in a satin dress with a deep navy color and sleeveless design that had sparkling accents on the skirt. There was also a lengthy strip of cloth on the right side of the halter-style gown that fell carelessly over her knees. Jamie looked elegant in a form-fitting black dress that flowed effortlessly to the floor. The actress wore a gold armband around her right wrist in addition to a pair of sparkling earrings. Jodie's co-star in Nyad, Annette Benning, was also nominated that evening for Best Actress, Emma Stone won the award, and while accepting it, she famously had a wardrobe mishap. After its premiere, Nyad was well received by critics and was nominated for two SAG Awards and two Golden Globes, among other honors, during this year's awards season. Curtis made headlines last year when she took home the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once.